It's an awful idea. And I like Jalen Brunson's a fine player. But a Wilds pal, Bill Simmons, put it perfectly when he called it the saddest sweepstakes ever. The Jalen Brunson sweepstakes. Is Jalen Brunson <laughs> one of the 10 best point guards in basketball? Maybe he's 10th. Yeah, Steph, Joss, CP3, Luka, Dame, Trey, Kyrie, Drew. There's eight guys that are clearly better than him. Nope. What about the young point They're guards? Fast. There's DeJounte Murray, SGA, Garland, <laughs> Lamelo and Jalen Brunson. That's five names. He's somewhere in there. So somewhere from nine to fourteen at his own position. Is he one? Is he one of the forty best players in the league? I haven't made the updated list. Maybe he's thirty eighth. Maybe he's forty sixth. He's somewhere in there. So anytime you can. Trade away guys you just signed and draft picks to make sure you can give that guy $25 million a year. You just got to do it. But, oh, Brew, God. Leon Rose got hired in March of 2020. The Knicks since then have done the following. Hired Tom Thibodeau. That's going swimmingly at your local AARP club, not necessarily swimmingly in local uh, professional basketball arenas. He then signed Nerlens Noel, who he just had to salary dump. Kimball Walker, who he just had to salary dump. Alec Burks, who he just had to salary dump. Taj Gibson, who's still there. Julius Randle, who's borderline untradeable. Evan Fournier, and maybe his best signing, Derrick Rose, who plays the same position as Jalen Brunson. So, yeah, I don't think it's going great for the Knicks, bro. I don't think that, that I know everyone loves Wes. And Leon Rose, and it's all part of some CAA master stroke of, oh, now we have these guys. We're going to get superstars like Jalen Brunson, who we're going to get after hiring okay. his father and whose agent is the son of Leon Rose. So I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like it's going that great. I don't feel like it's a great plan, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, look, Nick, you're clearly fair and right to tear apart this regime, but you could have done it with the previous regime and the previous regime oh, yeah. and the previous no, regime. True. I but mean, it, it's, it's just, it, it's the Knicks. Well, that's the thing. And they have lost the benefit of the doubt now. When Leon Rose and World Wide West took over, obviously everybody's excited about West. You know, he's a great network. He knows everybody mm. throughout the league. But this wasn't college basketball. This is more of an even playing ground where other teams have money and offer can offer as much as you can. And, and as much as Wes, his reputation is legitimate, um, I didn't think it would translate necessarily or automatically to being a general manager in the NBA. As far as Leon, people thought, hey, look at Bob Myers, former agent. Become has been wonderful yeah. with the uh, Warriors. Rob Palinka, uh, even if you want to rip him, look, it's under his watch, right? That they got LeBron and they got AD and they won. So you could say, hey, former agent, look at what he's done. That's what New York was thinking. And obviously that's not the case. So they've now lost the benefit of the doubt and the fans don't believe in them. But let me get specifically to this signing. It's fine. You're right. I don't know. I don't think he's top 10. I mean, he might not be top 14, but guess what? Four years, 110 million, 27 and a half million dollars per year. That makes him the 14th highest paid point guard in the NBA. I'm fine with that. Okay. Especially since next yeah. summer, it won't ruin the Knicks chances of having max space to go after other free agents. So this is fine. You got to fill out a roster. He's okay. He's solid. It's you not a needle mover. You're still in that play-in bottom, you know, seven to ten range in the Eastern Conference. But hey, it, you're not you're not giving him a max. You better not be. Um, so this is all no, right, no, Wilds. No. I'm fine with this. We're, we're we're max adjacent, and I get it. I am on the Jalen Brunson analysis freeway, and I've reached a fork in the road, Broussard, and down Pessimism Street. I see Nick Wright saying, you know what? The guy's numbers look very similar to Cole Anthony of the once frisky magic. But down Positivity Street, <laughs> I'm looking at a guy who's, hmm, he's, he's, a, he's a 20 and 7 guy when Luca's not there, can carry the Mavs when Luca wasn't there, 
And guess who he plays great with when he's on the floor at the same time? Oh, Donovan Mitchell. When they are teamed up and on the floor at the same time. Now, granted, Donovan was playing for the other team. Have we ever seen that? I think, Broussard, <laughs> that say. speaks. Yeah, we have. We have when he played against the Jazz. <laughs> that speaks to a chemistry that goes beyond speaks. uniforms. He's When he plays the Jazz, look at him. 28, 5, and 4. So that, that is a sign <laughs> that Donovan and Jalen Brunson can not only coexist, but thrive. This is the first of, of Leon Rose's master strokes. Get a solid complementary player like Jalen Brunson, then bring in the superstar. That, that's the plan. He, he's not the superstar. He's the complementary player Truly who has a higher upside be because he does better. Ah, uh, well, you know, no, you know, you know you what those numbers off the say. Fans, wow. it, things go a little south. Bru, tell them what the numbers say. You know what say. those numbers Brew, actually them. say? Yeah, they say Donovan Mitchell, for all his greatness, can't guard. Can't all right, guard. I mean, how many guards have we seen light up the Utah Jazz? Jamal Murray. Right. I and forgot. He, while on I'm, my point guard I'm list. seeing it completely. Jamal Murray was dropping yeah, 50 I'm on him, I'm seeing bro. it completely different. Let Jamal Murray. You're right. Fred Van Vliet. Not yeah. that he lit up Utah, but yeah. he could be on your list, too. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Wilds. This is a sign yeah. that Leon knows and Wes, they're not getting Donovan Mitchell. And you know hey, what? Uh, okay. They should understand Don't. they're not getting Donovan Mitchell. Oh. He's signed for the next three years at least. And there could be a four. He could be in Utah through 2026, Wilds. They have his contractual rights. All right, we learned with Kyrie that, hey, you can't just, you know, you, you can't just throw away the contracts. They matter. All right, and so they understand they're not getting Donovan Mitchell. That would be two six one guards, neither of which is you know going to be a tremendous defender. So you really that what you want? That's what the Knicks are thinking. Let's get two six one guards, both like the ball in their hands. Um, neither is a terrific three point shooter. They're solid. No, they know they're not getting Donovan Mitchell. So they went with Donovan Mitchell light, Wilds. That's what they got. They're looking at uh, oh, Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, and R.J. Barrett as their oh, big three. Hold on. And then they hope they can get oh, somebody three. that's three? better than all of those guys yeah. next summer. Oh, okay. Well, hold I on. mean, the, right, it's, relative. Is, it's relative. It's relative. I want to be fair to Jalen in this regard. Jalen's a far tougher, more engaged, and better defender than Donovan. He is not nearly the offensive yes, player but, okay. Donovan is. Jalen's going to have some limitations because of his size, obviously. But I think Jalen is a good defender. I think he helped the Mavs and helped Luka when they were on the court together in that regard. But Knicks fans, I know you're bing-bonging into my mention saying, Oh, Nick, what about our future draft bounty? Let me be very clear about... So the Knicks have all their own picks, which is useful because they're not going to be good. So that's helpful to have your own picks. Here's what else they have. Next year, they will get Dallas's pick. That will be a non-lottery pick. The Detroit and Washington picks that they traded for, which are their only other remaining additional firsts. The best case scenario is the Detroit pick is the 10th pick of the 2027 draft. That is the best it possibly can be due to the protections. The 10th pick in four years, five years. The Washington pick, the best it can be, is the ninth pick in the 2026 draft. And if either of those teams continue to be awful, those turn into second round picks. So they don't have any extra, oh my God, this is going to be like when the Celtics had that Kings unprotected pick that they could dangle in front of people. That's not what this is. So yes, they do have three additional firsts. None of them will be lottery picks anytime soon, if it ever, but that's fine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.